The idea of being wealthy means different things to different people. One person may view wealth as the means to buy everything they have ever wanted but could never afford. Another person may consider being wealthy as the ability to quit a job they are chained to for an income to support their family. Hence in this video, I will be sharing with you 13 types of wealthy people. 1. The Traveling Rich Person The traveling rich person has only one goal and that is to see the world. A traveling rich person either moves from country to country, spending months in each location or a jet-setting traveler that explores the world one week at a time then returning to your home base to recharge. Either way, the traveling rich person finds a way to make their money last so they can continue living the explorer lifestyle they love. Sometimes this even means setting up their home base in a much more affordable foreign country that allows their money to stretch even further than it would in their home country. They also tend to open branches of their companies in different parts of the world. 2. The Frugal Rich Person It's easy to assume that the wealthiest people are those riding around in beautiful cars, wearing designer clothes and living in the high life every day of the week. But the truth is that many of the wealthiest people are surprisingly frugal. And that's part of the secret of how they accumulated their wealth in the first place or how they manage to maintain and grow it over the long drag. They don't waste money on unnecessary things, neither do they allow themselves to get cheated simply because they are wealthy. For instance, billionaire Warren Buffett still lives in the same modest Omaha, Nebraska, a home he bought 50 years ago. Rather than a mega mansion, a millionaire actress Hilary Swank still clips coupons. 3. Entrepreneurial Rich Person Individuals like Bill Gates, Jeff Bezos, Mark Zuckerberg and the likes are in this category of wealthy people. The entrepreneurial rich person wants to change the world through their business ideas. They love the process of building a business or product up from nothing. The money they have accumulated in the past could quickly disappear on one lousy business venture or multiply many times over with each new successful business. For most entrepreneurial rich people, money is not the object but rather a method of keeping score. It is not the end but a means to the end. While others want to help make the world a better place and could care less about the money their ventures earn them, entrepreneurs want to be the best and that often means growing businesses to continue to gain wealth or some other metric of business growth. 4. The Poor Rich Person the poor rich person wants to be rich because they figure money will solve all of their life's problems. Thus, they want to buy all of the things they've always wanted but could never afford. Most people who are poor rich are those who were in the abject poverty but suddenly become rich through lottery or gambling. This type of riches is not determined by a person's financial status before they became rich but rather how they treat their money after they become wealthy. Poor rich people don't know how to handle money and will likely blow through their excellent fortune before they know it. Although they are rich, they act like the poor. Poor rich people often buy items just because they are status symbols, not because they want them. They buy fancy mansions, sexy cars and every gadget you could imagine. 5. The Financially Independent Rich Person In contrast to the poor rich person, the economically independent rich person has a detailed plan for their money. While they enjoy the idea of being rich, they don't blow their money left and right on ones that are unsustainable in the long term. They generally follow a strict investment and withdrawal strategy to ensure their money would last them for the rest of their lives. The financially independent person values the freedom that their investments afford them. They are fans of multiple and passive income streams. Although they still work and earn money, they are no longer forced to make money in ways that conflict with their life goals. As a result of their astuteness, their investment strategy is sound and future returns are always in line with the long-term averages of their investment. 6. The Slacker Rich Person While the financially independent rich person has a purpose in their life, the slacker rich person wants to lie around and enjoy life without worrying about being productive. They may have a plan to make sure they hopefully won't run out of money 
but the main focus of the slacker rich person is the fact that they would instead relax at home and hit up the golf course a few times a week than work in any form at all. There is nothing wrong with being a slacker rich person if that's what you want out of life, but the slacker rich person won't do much to enrich the world beyond what affects them personally. 7. The Given Rich Person The given rich person wants to solve everybody's problem with money. Sadly, there is never enough money to solve the whole world's problems. Given rich people often pay off their friends' car loans or mortgages. They donate money to every charity that asks. They genuinely want to help the world, but they don't realize that sometimes the best way to help is to say no. Charities and friends will grow dependent on the given, and when the given rich person runs out of money, they abandon them. Realistically, if the given rich person had been more modest with their gifts, they could have continued giving gifts for their entire life. However, most get so caught up in giving that they give until their money runs out. Unfortunately, no one will be left to help the given rich person once they are penniless, in most cases. 8. The Self-Centered Rich Person These sets of individuals, unlike the givers, are more concerned about themselves than anyone else. According to a paper written by University of California psychologists in 2011, these sets of individuals in the upper class tend to prioritize their desires above others. But that isn't necessarily a bad thing, and it doesn't mean you have to laugh uproariously in the face of the next person who asks you for change in the street. According to Steve Sealbold, author of How Rich People Think, selfish doesn't necessarily mean ungenerous. Instead, Wealthy people often believe that to take care of others in a significant way, they have to take care of themselves first. 9. The Hoarding Rich Person The hoarding rich wants to keep their money and continue to accumulate more. They never want to see their bank and investment account balances begin to decline. The hoarding rich person may have $10 million in the bank but won't spend more than $50,000 a year because they would prefer to have 11 million next year. They spend 200,000 and have only 10 million 850,000. The hoarding rich may be extremely cheap just so that they have an abundance of money to live the rest of their life with. They may continue to clip coupons to save 10 cents at the grocery store rather than focus on big picture items that could produce even more wealth. These people will prefer to purchase the cheap inferior items than the original expensive ones. The hoarding rich people will die with massive wealth in the bank, owe an excellent chunk in taxes and pass what is left on to their heirs. 10. The Education-Oriented Rich Person These set of rich people never get tired of learning. They invest more in books, trainings and personal development than stocks and bonds and real estate. When you walk into this type of person's home, one of the first things you'll see is an extensive library of books they've used to educate themselves on how to become more successful. Most of these set of rich people are professionals like college professors, medical doctors, lawyers, scientists and investors all fall into this category of people. Education-oriented wealthy persons usually are not the kind that die and leave such massive wealth for their children. They believe that education is the best legacy. So instead of give their children properties, they give them the best education. 11. The Family Inheritance Rich Person Have you ever heard the statement, born with a silver spoon? These individuals are the definition of that phrase. They were born into wealthy homes and grew up to inherit wealth. Family inheritance wealthy individuals are usually the first sons who inherited their father's business, which was probably their grandparents. They are business-focused individuals whose desire is to build the company and pass it to their children. From a young age, they educate their kids, first sons in most cases about the family business, groom them to take over from them. The al Saud, Walton and Mars families are examples of this set of affluent individuals. 12. The Patient Rich Person The quote, the patient dog eats the fattest bone. These individuals are not in a hurry to make wealth. They believe that hard work pays and that every good thing takes time. The patient rich person is the type that spends the early years of their life working hard for the organization they are in, getting promoted and saving for retirement. 
They typically stay in a small house until their retirement. Like the education-oriented rich individuals, these people also prioritize giving the best education and connection to their children. After retirement, they get a better home and will settle for real estate. 13. The Adventurous Rich Person These individuals are heavy risk takers. According to Steve Seabold, author of How Rich People Think, leverage is the watchword of the adventurous rich person. What's leverage? In finance, it can mean using borrowed capital to produce a higher return. But in a broader sense, it means using anything to maximum advantage. In either case, it often means taking risks and busting out of your comfort zone. The adventurous rich person is not courteous at all. They take every opportunity that comes their way. And most times, they are lucky enough to win. The kind of rich person you are is most times a product of your core values and past experiences.